All right, so there's the batteries. I got them all on. Uh, what did I say? 14 guys, I think. There's 14 batteries. I called this morning. Batteries are only 17 cents. I thought they were 18. I think they dropped. I'm pretty sure that's what John said. That they went down. So still 17 cents for everybody else is paying a lot less. I'll take it. And then I left that on there because I took the motor off it. There was like three motors on it. was that motor, that motor, that motor. Then all that wire. And then I got all these off the batteries. So not bad at all. These are all the batteries. Some of them are uh, like this here. It's got brass ends. So yeah, nice chunks. A couple cut pieces of lead on them. So like that one there. But not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. Oh yeah, I got a piece of brass too off of that when I cleaned it. So not bad at all. And then all this other stuff here, these pieces here came from the uh, cleaning company too. Um, so my pile was getting down and then I added to it because I put another one of those on there from last night. That's a new one there. And as you can see, I haven't cut the cord off yet. Look at the size of that cord. Look how thick that juicy baby is. Um, and then we got one, two, three, four more vacuums there. I got to take, cut the cords off of. Um, and the one I already did because I already cleaned that one up at the front. So all it's left on it is just pretty much metal because it has a metal frame to the bottom of it and then I figured I'd get rid of that that sat there so and then I put the batteries on I figured I'd throw them a little bit of metal on and that there since it was already that was already on so I figured uh, I'll top that corner up then I filled it up with a bunch of small stuff so it is nice and heavy in the corner and then all the batteries so there's my load wouldn't it weigh wouldn't it pay uh 17 cents a pound you can take an estimate what you think these batteries are gonna weigh I don't know guys I'll leave the uh would it weigh i'll leave the ticket if i can remember or i'll tell you what it weighed or whatever i got at the end of this um so if you want to know you're gonna watch it to the end at some point in here in this video there'll be uh the answer so yeah i always keep the uh the washers because you can always use them for little projects so uh but that's it for now i mean i might throw on a few more items but i gotta be careful because with batteries you don't want them to ever catch or hit on metal because they can cause a fire, so that's why I usually want to haul batteries. Um, I don't, or I put cardboard over them, because all it takes is a post, two power posts to hit, or whatever. And you guys have a little fire in the back of your truck. So, stuff like this, be careful guys hauling it. Um, I've seen it happen. I've seen um, stores where this has happened on the side of the road. People's, you know, hauling stuff like this. They don't realize that batteries connect with metal, and they end up, uh, you know, causing a big problem because then your truck's gone. Or whatever you're hauling, so... But anyhow, I'll get this in the scrap yard. I don't know if I'm going to add anything more to it. I just, like I said, if I can, it's got to be at the back here, not touching the batteries. Um, I don't know. But I'll let you guys know what way would to pay. All right, so I had 180 pounds of shred at 12 cents a pound, which was $22, which isn't bad. Paid for the gas going up. But I had 980 pounds of batteries, seven, 17 cents a pound, $167. And all I had to do was load them on the truck and then put them in the bucket and then put them back on the truck. And I made myself a hundred, well, 190 because he, you know, no change. So it was $190. Not bad at all. So yeah, almost a thousand pounds of batteries. Wow. Yeah. If I had one more battery, it would have been over a thousand pounds. But yeah, so that little $22 helped that uh, I threw on for shred. That was just like I said, well, I actually had one clean. That was one of the one of the polishers cleaners whatever they're called from the cleaning company so that one of them is at that 880 plus the loose stuff i threw on so really that's not bad plus the ones that are still on my trailer so that's you know what i mean 167 in batteries and then whatever we get for the, all those cleaners and that's not the motors i'm taking off and all the wire i take off that's a lot you know what i mean you think about that that's one pickup from them i mean i'm probably going to gross i mean you think about all the goodies and the load that's on the trailer and yeah, this is probably three, almost a $400 load that I just picked up, yeah, last night. So, with the goodies I peel off, the motors, and all that wire, and there's always a bunch of goodies that you get off the stuff. So, yeah, and then the dirty aluminum, yeah, there, there was a lot of stuff I peel off of those, and it was a lot there last night, guys. But, uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for the trailer load when I go to get rid of it. I'm um, going to try and shoot for Monday if I, as long as everything clean this on the trailer. Um, we'll see how my weekend goes. I mean, those batteries, they definitely give me a workout. Me and the baby are just, uh, we just left the scrapyard. We're in the truck, as you can see, guys. So, but uh, we'll, uh, I don't know, I guess that's it for now. And to bring my day to an end, one load of wood. Look at that. Another load of wood to throw on the pile there, guys. It was getting low. 
Well, I checked the stove. Eh. It's at 191. Maybe I'll throw a couple chunks in it just to have it ready. So I don't know come back out for a little while. It's just kind of, it's still burning, but it's not calling for the to burn. The thing isn't on, the draft isn't on. It kicks on on its own when it needs it, when it drops down. But anyhow, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.